in the playoff spots at the moment, which is Charlton, who, who went to Exeter at the weekend and got a point. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they just they experienced Norwich celebrating at the Valley last week. And uh, um, they could only um, uh, they lost one nil, and then against Exeter here, where they really needed to win, um, they could only pull off a draw. And you know, you're just thinking, well, it looks like it's it's back to the playoffs, but you know, the the spirit of of '98 um, against Sunderland, hopefully they can pull that off again. We slowed Carl Reed's shot down just to show that it did cross the line, but quite frankly, you can't see anything from that. <laughs> Birch, so it's, Birch said that crossed the line, didn't he? Uh, yeah, you can How tell. How do you know, Birch? Players' reactions, they didn't, they did, their, yeah. their players didn't moan when it was given. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. And Phil Parkinson said afterwards that if you'd have given him the playoffs at the start of the season with the young squad that he had, yeah. he'd have taken that. Well, you know, I mean, obviously they had to get rid of a few players, but they were still one of the favourites to go up. We're still one of the favourites to go up at the start of the season, you know, and I think the testimony to them is uh, Fraser, Fraser Richardson and Nicky Bailey both end up in the PFA team, so I think that's a credit to, to what Charlton have achieved, but there's still a massive part of the season to play, and you asked me a couple of weeks ago, and I said, I still think they can do it, because, you know, I know that none of the team left that played in 98, but, you know, history sometimes repeats itself, and hopefully they can get to the player final and, um, and, and produce the goods there. Let's take a look.